uh, good day. Uh, I've got a little video for you uh, for you here today uh, about uh, polarity and how to set up your polarity correctly. Now this won't be the standard way of checking if your wires are hooked up correctly, but I've got a little trick that we discovered can use if we're using a DSP amplifier from uh, Match or Helix from AudioTech Fisher uh, onto the system that can very easily tell you if your wiring is correctly on the input levels. So we are running the up 10 DSP here, but I, th I think you can do it on any uh, audio fishes amplifiers and DSPs, uh, at least on the late ones. Uh, and uh, as you can see, that's Tesla, which has a uh, three-way system active in the front. Uh, and it has, it didn't come with uh, three-way in active in the front, it had two-way active front channels. So it's still, you have four channels and one of them, if it's wrong, the sound system will never be tuned properly. Uh, so you can easily check if your wiring is correctly by going to uh, here in the DSP in uh, settings. You click this little icon, which will give you get you to an input alignment analyzer. Now you have to play a uh, pink correlated uh, uh, correlate, correlated pink noise which means both left and right side are identical. And normally you would just put one channel here, say uh, uh, front, left, mid, and come on, and you drop it here. And then you check this channel. So if you just start the analyzer, it just listens to the pink noise and it tells you if it's a full range signal, if it's a uh, uh, crossover at 2k in this situation which is which is wrong but uh, uh it, it just show you what it is okay let me do this as you would normally do so you run the sequence ideally you run one more more than one sequence to test it out and when it runs through the whole process it gives you the frequency range that the signal is receiving. Right. So I can see that this Tesla on the medium, uh, on the front left mid range, uh, has this frequency range. So it starts about 160, 200 hertz, and then it follows through, and then it's a little bit more stronger as we go up. Now, if I put the front left mid-range here next to it I can test how both of these signals are playing out so it would be similar it would be just stronger so I have 50% of the right signal and 50% of the left signal from the mid-ranges here you can put any combination there now I'm getting into the finish soon so let me just run the sequence so it's the same thing virtually it's exactly the same now, I know the polarity is correct because it's showing up. If the polarity was wrong against one to the other, you wouldn't see nothing. But I can, sim I can uh, simulate this problem by flipping polarity on, on one of these channels like this. So you would have 50% of one and minus 50% of the other, which is exactly what it is when you would flip the cables from positive to negative on, on one of them input channels. So when I run the sequence now, see what happens. So again, what's happening now, I flipped off already, so one of the wires has positive negative and second has negative positive uh, connection running to the end, or that's, that's the scenario here. Right, so this is what you see, it's a flat line coming all across the screen because the channels are basically cancelling each other out perfectly, which turns out to be a flat line. This is what you can see when, let me stop this, hold on, and so this is what you'll see when you have 
inverse polarity on one of them input channels so you can easily check if your polarity is wrong or right before you even get to sound tuning you can do it acoustically sometimes it's not as obvious uh, but this is this is a very good tool how you can double check your wiring is done correctly on the input level before you start moving on obviously you can check your output polarity channels this way uh, but this is a little trick you can always do and you can also check if sometimes the manufacturers had it wrong from factory so you can you can check them out too this way all right so i hope this video helped you to answer some questions you may have and i'll see you in another video